students make up a large number of those protesters. The president of Hong Kong's Baptist University is now calling on them to end occupation and return to the classroom. He's the first university president to express concern over the prolonged impact of the protest. CCTV's Han Pong sought Professor Albert Chan's views. Professor Chan, very honored to have you with us. Uh, as the president of one of the best universities here in Hong Kong, what is your stance on the current controversial student protest? I think um, the students are very idealistic, and I think it's good for them to pursue their ideal. On the other hand, it's also good to think about the people being affected. We should not just think about ourselves. So for that reason, I think um, it's much better for our students to leave as soon as possible. Uh, and also, if this becomes a habit, uh, if anybody thinks of something that they don't like or they like, they would occupy the street, uh, then if, if it becomes a habit, it's not going to be good for the future of Hong Kong. So you are the first president of a university here in Hong Kong to openly speak against the Occupy Central protest. Do you fear that some of the students will hate you for that? Uh, I'm not saying that I'm uh, against uh, or for it. As a university president, we keep an open uh, mind on what the students are doing. But we don't, uh, we don't like um, anybody um, to break the law. Uh, I think the core value of Hong Kong is uh, the legal system. If our law cannot be carried out, then it's not good for Hong Kong. Uh, actually, we've seen one round of dialogue between the student protesters and the government. But as we can see, it's difficult to reach any meaningful compromise between the two sides because the students' demands, like what you said, are simply out of the framework of the basic law and NPC decision. I guess it is true. There's no reason to violate the basic law. But under the basic law, there are still framework for um, a good solution to this problem. Uh, for example, I think the um, selection committee, for example, that's, that's one area that people can work on. Actually, it's a very difficult situation. Nobody at this moment knows how to end this uh, protest. But on the other hand, many people want to make an effort to end it peacefully.